It's day number 76 of the $1,000 account challenge, and today I'm up $676 in the account, or 5.27% of the total portfolio balance. Today's analysis is simple. One stock. That's all we needed. If you don't know, my name is Gates. I'm taking $1,000, and I'm day trading options to see how far we can grow this account. And we're up to well over $13,000 after starting with $1,000 76 days ago. So in the day trade watch list, we had Netflix today as a short idea below $550. The reason why is because it was a gap down from the earnings report recently, and it gave us a little bit of a continuation following the gap down. So we were looking for lower lows today. Very simple and easy analysis, right? So if we're looking for lower lows, obviously we are looking for a break below the prior day's low of day or the pre-market lows. Pre-market lows was at 550. That's also going to be a whole number, which is a natural point of static support. Therefore, the break below 550 was the level to watch today. Now we get the fluctuation. I'm on the one minute time here. One one minute time frame here. We get the fluctuation below, the rally back up above, and then the move back below. So we're staying patient here as this rally is getting sold. And then on the retest. Of the trigger level at 550, we take the entry short, literally at the top of this candle. Now, I cannot make this up. Within this same exact candle, we get the drop all the way down to the low of day, and we are out of the trade for a 20% gain. And if you do not believe me, all of this is time stamped in the alert room. So initially, starting off today, we had Netflix loaded up these put contracts, right? 9.31 a.m., one minute after market open. So we should have been well prepared. We knew that Netflix kind of already dropped one minute after market open. Hey, we're going to prepare. Let's take this short. Doesn't mean we have to take the entry short. All that means is that we're loading the contracts, getting ready to press buy in the event that an entry opportunity is offered to us. Netflix took short entry 9.37 a.m. Give you the contracts, remind you of the contracts again, rather, and my exact fill price. And my stop loss here is going to be a break above the level, the trigger level at the 550 mark. So my risk off looks like that. The potential reward down at the low of day looks like that. Here's the amount of reward potential. Well, let's just go. Let's not even go the full length of that candle. Let's just go to this low of day right here. Even so, here's your reward amount. Here's the amount of risk. It's well over double the amount of risk that was assumed on this trade. Therefore, the RR is here, and it just makes sense for us to go ahead and take this trade and uh, risk the opportunity of making more money. So Netflix, one minute later, that's low of day in 20%, and here's your contracts. Uh, reminded, entry price 5.0, exit price 6.0. Now, this was on the same candle that I sold. The one minute later, it, I probably just sent that alert out over at the at the turn of the minute. So then we get the rally back up to the trigger level at 550. And I'm like, hold on, wait a minute. Let's go back in on this because this may not be done, right? This may do something where it sells off, creates a lower high, and then comes right back down. Unfortunately, this does not create a lower high, but it does create almost the same exact high. So what I wound up doing was going short on this big green candle about halfway through pretty much at the same, actually at the same exact spot, at least on the contracts um, that I took previously. So I said, took re-entry, same contracts, smaller size, fill price is 5.0. Now, why would I take a smaller size on this position? Well, because I don't want to risk the profits that I just made on the last position, right? If you ever start the green off, uh, the day off green, here's a little hint for you. Write this down if you have to. If you start the day off green, let's say you make $500 on your very first trade, your next trade beyond that, you should not lose more than $500 on that trade. You should never put yourself in a situation to where if you're taking trade after trade after trade, those losing trades that you do take should not add up to the amount of profit that you've already had on the day. So if we start the day green, boom, up $500, I'm going to make it a point to not lose more than $500 on my very next trade. So in an effort to mitigate risk, I sized down. Plus, this was a full-bodied green candle, right? We didn't know that this wasn't going to uh, continue up. Now, because this moved up so quick and rejected so fast, I did not have a chance to really even stop out of this trade. I, I said my stop loss was at $550, and that is true. But because I was in with smaller size, I was able to give it a bit more room. And after it rejected, like I said, it rejected the high of day up here, it happened so fast that this sold off right back towards 550, and we were fine on the position. So from here, it's just trade management. We get the move down to the low of day. Uh, I think we're up like 10 or 15% here. 
I'm not taking the profits because I'm looking for that low of day flush move, right? I'm looking for the break of the previous uh, low of day over here. So again, move down at this time, contracts kind of slowed down in their speed because of the volatility slowing down. So theta here was eating our contract premium a little bit, but we do eventually get the move down into the low of day. And we wind up closing this position out, literally bottom ticking it here at the low of day for a 20% gain once more before this totally reverse. So you might go, well, Gates, how do you know to sell the position down here before it reverses? You timed that perfectly. I didn't know. I didn't know in all honesty that it was going to reverse right there. Uh, and that's not my reason for selling anyways. It could have kept going. My reason for selling is because I, I was up 20% on the trade. I was already in the trade so long anyways, and we got the low of day move that I was looking for. So I just went ahead and took the profits like I would on any normal trade. It just so happened to be that this reversed right afterwards and that it was a picture perfect sell. So back to back, two trades on Netflix. Like I said, one stock, that's all you needed to watch. One break the trigger level, that's all you needed to watch. Two different trades on this back-to-back 20% profit puts us green on the day, up $676. Pretty solid gain and a nice way to start the week. Thank you so much for your time and watching the video. I hope that you have learned something from the video. If you have, press that like button for me and consider subscribing to the YouTube channel as well. It's just the best way to support me in this type of work that I do. Thank you so much, and I'll see you tomorrow when we continue the $1,000 account challenge. Cheers.